many of us will have been working at home now for the past couple of months and you've probably realized that the office chair that you had at home is in fact breaking your back. Well I've been using the Secret Labs Titan now for quite some time and I'm here to recap my thoughts from my original review with you. I'll be addressing some of the concerns from the comments in my last video. I'll also be tearing down the warranty to find out if the company really is as reliable as they say they are and lastly I'll be showing you this chair in more detail now after several months of use to give you an idea of how long lasting these chairs will be. Welcome back to another episode of Stu's Reviews. Before I go any further, I know a few of you will be going down to the comments already about to tell me that this is a paid and endorsed review. This is not paid or endorsed at all in any way, shape or form. So much so that in fact, I'm not even going to use an affiliate link at all in this review, nor in fact, am I going to put any link at all to any Secret Labs chair so that you know this review is completely unendorsed, unsponsored, unrelated to Secret Labs. In fact, this review is so far from being sponsored that my original review was quite critical and I recently posted a tweet on Twitter asking for people's opinions on their Secret Labs chair after several months of use so that I could include some of those experiences in this review. Secret Labs saw that, emailed me and said, I would like to check and see how your current Titan is doing and any feedback will be great. I also noticed that you may be looking at doing an update review on your Titan via your tweet. So please let us know if there's anything at all that we can help with. So they obviously have seen my existing review and seen some of the critical things that I said about the Titan back then. And they've obviously seen this tweet and got in touch to kind of try and ascertain whether or not this particular video is going to either give them a really negative review or give them a positive review. So naturally, I replied with this. My Titan is doing rather well, but for a full country, you'll need to wait for my update episode. Winky face. I don't want to tell them what I'm going to say. And in fact, you're probably watching right now, Secret Lab. And I'm glad you are because I've got a lot to say about this chair. For those that don't want to go back and watch my entire original review on the Secret Labs Titan, I'll do a really quick montage recap just so that you remember what my conclusion was. I want to take you on a journey. Let's get rid of this chair. Oh yeah. I'll tell you what, I'm going to need a sit down after this. You've got this here that's like horn. It is much firmer than I anticipated. You're getting people to basically free advertise for you. Come on, guys. Is this what you thought 400 pounds of chair would be like? How much? <laughs> How much? <laughs> On comfort level, Sam was giving it a seven. I'd probably give it a five or six. Although it hasn't met my expectations, I do feel like it's done me the world of good. My back would be in pieces. It isn't in this chair. And this memory pillow, is rather nice. Since making that video, I've come to realize that chair preference is apparently extremely tribal because of the amount of varying comments that I got on that video. Now, the one big comment that kept on coming up over and over and over again was that I shouldn't have spent £400 on this chair. And in fact, I should have bought something like the Herman Miller Aeron. For whatever reason, this kept on popping up over and over again. So let's have a quick look at that chair. The Herman and Miller Aaron. Aaron? Is that how you spell Aaron? God knows, let's have a look. Okay, here we go. What? That says £1,099 for that. This looks like it's made from grandma's knitted tights and it looks tiny. Why is that £1,099? Call me tight fisted, but I will not be paying over a thousand pounds for something that looks like it should be worn by my grandparents. Mm. My question is, at the end of the day, why are these people watching my review of the Secret Labs Titan chair if they've already got a £1,099 Herman and Miller Aeron chair? <laughs> it's as almost as if Herman and Miller are possibly paying these people to comment on other chair videos.
If you do scroll down to the comment section after watching this video and you see someone down there trying to pedal and promote the Herman Miller Aaron chair, please publicly lambast them. Dislike their comment because it's ridiculous. There are even a couple of people suggesting that I should buy a second-hand Herman and Miller Aaron chair rather than buying a Secret Labs Titan. No f***ing way am I buying a second-hand office chair that's had some sweaty arse crack sat in it, farting in it, for five days a week, eight hours a day. Not a chance. They're, I'm all for buying second-hand stuff all for upcycling, but there are limits to what I will accept. Buying used pants and buying a used office chair. No, that is something I won't do. And that's enough of that rant. One other comment that I kept on getting was about my criticism of the warranty. Now, as standard, the warranty that comes with the Secret Labs Titan is three years, which is fine in itself, but you can extend that to five years. But here's the stipulation. You have to share a picture of your Secret Labs Titan on social media. Now, I don't like this. I've, I just think it's cheeky. But on the subject of warranty, here's a little bit of a spoiler for the last bit of the review. I haven't had to use the warranty at all. I haven't had to contact the support, but I wanted to find out how easy it was to claim on the warranty if you did have an issue. So I went into the forums and did a lot of searching on a lot of different things, specifically for things like common problems. Now, one of the big problems with the PU version, which I didn't go for, obviously I went for the Softweave, and this is one of the reasons I went for the Softweave, was that the PU leather is supposed to crack. Now, I've seen this happen before in my old IKEA chair, that was PU leather, and that did crack over time. But apparently the Secret Lab Titan chairs do it as well. So I did a bit of Googling, but supposedly that only has happened commonly in places like Singapore and Malaysia. This is where all the complaints were coming from. So much so that actually uh, Secret Lab extended their warranty to cover peeling in their peel protection plan. I think that's what it's called. But this basically covers people in those regions specifically for peeling and cracking. At this moment in time, I don't think that's available for people in the UK, but at the end of the day, Secret Labs say that it's not supposed to happen in environments such as that in the UK and the US. It's more the environments in places like Singapore and Malaysia that can cause the leather to peel and crack. Not only that, but these issues seem to be generally related to the earlier models of the Titan. Recently, they updated their material to what they call Prime 2.0, which is supposedly much harder wearing than the previous version. And I've yet to discover anyone on any forum with the newer material with cracking or peeling problems. So this issue could have indeed disappeared altogether. I did find a couple of people close to home who have had some issues and have had dealings with the warranty and the company itself. One of those is Mads Tech Reviews, another YouTuber. And in his uh, video of the Secret Labs Titan, he goes on to explain some of the issues he had. One of those was the foam in the bottom part of the seat coming out of place, and another was problems with the piston. It sounds to me like after a few back and forths, they were a little bit shy about supporting him and sending him out new parts but in the end they did okay that seems pretty good the only other person that i know of is this chap chris from cc.ie although his problem potentially was caused by himself it doesn't matter i've got him here to tell you exactly how the warranty team dealt with his request Hey Stu, so I have two of the Secret Lab gaming chairs. Game of Thrones Special Edition. The House Targaryen one is holding up really well. Not any signs of sort of wear and tear. Whereas the House Stark one, I noticed a little bit of wear and tear in around the second or third month of owning them. There was a little bit of uh, leather damage on the back of the chair. And I'm not sure if it was from myself leaning up against something or if it happened naturally itself. Um, so I'm a little bit unsure of how that happened. But I did try to contact Secret Lab. The process of getting in touch with them was to go on their website, go to the contact form, fill in a little form of what the issue you were having. From there, they then looked at it and assessed the issue 
and they decided that because it was wear and tear uh, it wouldn't be covered under warranty so they couldn't replace it for free so they offered a replacement charge of $50 for a new back. After speaking to Chris, I went online to have a look and see what other parts you could buy. And actually, overall, the parts that you can buy from the website are pretty reasonable, although you can't see the price of things like backrests or seat bases on there. That probably is because there's a wide variety of different models available, and each one will probably have a slightly different price. But in Chris's case, $50 for a new back, do you know what? That's pretty good. So I think from digging a little bit further and looking at websites such as Trustpilot as well, you can see that their warranty team and service team generally have overall positive reviews. And from my own experience and from those that I've spoken to, that generally seems so. So can you buy with a bit of confidence knowing that your warranty will be supported? I would say yes, you probably can. Do not quote me though. Do not buy one expecting me to be exactly right because I haven't experienced it myself but from what I've done in terms of research they do seem pretty good. So I've covered the comments and I've covered the warranty. The last thing for me to do is show you the chair after several months of use. Now bear in mind please that I have not hoovered it and I have not cleaned it. I have left it in exactly the state that it is that I'm sitting on this right now and I want to do that to show you how it holds dirt and it holds stains and it holds generally in itself. So let's take a closer look at the Secret Labs 2020 Titan after several months. Time goes rather quickly doesn't it? Seems like just yesterday I was pulling this thing out of the box, but nearly nine months later, let's take a closer look at how time has taken its toll. Despite sitting in this thing for nearly eight hours a day most days, the seat base that has taken the brunt of my fat posterior seems to have done remarkably well with very little signs of use. All of the stitches seem undisturbed and with no sign of fraying or movement, and the same goes for stitches in the backrest as well. The section of the underneath where the material has been cut, which I criticised for looking a little unfinished, hasn't changed or gotten worse, which is a good thing. The armrests are still in brilliant condition, if a little mucky. Perhaps the only thing this chair shows its sign of use on are the wheels, which is partly my fault for using it on a bare stone surface with no protection. Overall, it's held up remarkably well, and apart from the odd dog hair or biscuit crumb, it hasn't torn, stained, frayed or sacked, and that's more than I can say for myself in the past nine months. You can see the quality has held up really well over the past months. And do you know what? I've actually been very, very impressed. Now, it has gotten a tiny little bit softer. I'm talking maybe fractional amounts here. But actually, the firmness is still there from my original review. And I know that I said originally that it wasn't what I expected. I expected to be enveloped by a cloud for this much. But actually... I owe that firmness a hell of a lot because it's that firmness that has stopped my back from breaking. In my original review, I mentioned that my IKEA chair was in fact torturing my back and that it was causing all sorts of problems. Since buying this chair, I have not had a bad back and the firmness in this chair is what has helped that without a doubt. And there is science in this as well. You only have to do a quick Google to find out that soft chairs, such as the one on the left, are killing you slowly, and that when you sit on them, your back makes a shape similar to this. The Titan on the right, however, is shaped and is a lot firmer, and because of this, it means that when you sit in it, your back makes a shape like this, which is less likely to kill you. Science. So, my conclusion is this. It's still not what you would expect. You buy this for £400, it isn't what you expect at all in any way, shape or form. It's definitely much firmer than you originally believe it should be when you're sitting on it. However, that has helped my back to no end. So, I value that immensely. So, do I regret buying this chair? Absolutely not. Would I have spent more on something else? Also, absolutely not. This chair has been brilliant, and do you know what? I'm super impressed with it so far, 
But if you do get one, don't expect this to be a cloud of soft pillows because you'll be sorely disappointed. And that concludes my recap on the Secret Labs Titan 2020. Guys, if you have any further questions about this chair, let me know in the comments. But I think I've pretty much covered a lot of what people are asking for in the comment section of the last video. But if you like today's video and you find it helpful in making a decision on whether or not this is an office chair that you should be buying during lockdown, hit that like and hit that subscribe because that will really help me out and i'll see you back for another episode of stu's reviews soon as a quick footnote before you go i'll be doing another secret labs titan review very very soon which will be a comparison between this one and an xl model to see whether or not that will be more suitable for larger people like me at six foot eight so stay tuned for that also supposedly they've updated some of their assembly process as well so i'll be assembling it and taking a look now to see what sort of changes they've done and how that positively or negatively impacts the setup process. So hit that notification bell and I'll see you soon.